Yes. My people, una good morning. Una good afternoon. Depends depending on your location. So, so today we are starting with a quote. Okay? Let's quote. We are still on this uh obo issue. So let's quote uh, Louis Hoss. Let's listen to what Louis Hoss said. He said, never tell your problems to anyone. Never tell your problems to anyone. 20% don't care. And the other 80% are glad you have them. Never tell your problems to anyone. 20% don't care. And the 80% are glad you have them. You see, that is the fact. You understand, Mr. Obo? Good luck. I completely understand what you are doing. Okay? I completely understand what you are doing. You are depressed. You are going through a lot. And you don't want to keep it inside you. You want to speak it out, you know? You even said it. The more you go on, the more you go on Facebook to express yourself, it's like you are relieving yourself, which is good. But coming public, the public 20% don't care. 80% are glad you have them. They are mocking you. They are laughing at you. So this is the solution. This is what I did years ago. My problem is similar to your problem. Okay? Uh, because you said your, your children, this is what she's, the, your wife said to you. She said she cannot leave the children for a stranger. Okay? The wife, your wife is already calling you a stranger. That she cannot leave her children for you because you are a stranger. And because of that, you have every right to go for a DNA test. You have every right to go for a DNA test. Let me tell you my whole story. My whole story happened in Nigeria. I've trained this child to five. This child was actually five. Then I want to give this child an Irish passport. Okay, I want to give this child an Irish passport. Then the Irish embassy in Nigeria, in Abuja, said they must do a DNA test to know if the child is my biological child. That's the only way they can give the child a passport. Is there, I find out that that child is not mine. You understand? Because we, I, you said those children have documents. Is it a Dutch passport? Do Dutch people, do they not do DNA tests? Or is it because the woman have the baby over there? So I, that place is not really clear. How are those children, how do they get their stay or residence? Because, okay, maybe because my woman there was in Nigeria, so they, they, they have to do a DNA test. So I don't know how the, how the Dutch immigration law work. But let's continue. So what I did when I was in the same situation, because at this moment you are depressed, you have spent a lot of money, and I completely understand you because I was in your shoe before. So what I did is that, this, this is also recommended by T.D. Jakes. Everybody knows T.D. Jakes, I mean... TDJ will do a YouTube video. He can easily get half a million views. So it's an international world leader. He said you will take a clean sheet like this. You see this clean sheet? You will take a clean sheet like this. Write out your feelings. Because that thing can kill you. That thing can give you cancer. Because it's inside you. So what you do, you take a pen. Write out your feelings on a clean sheet like this. Continuously. So as you are writing how you feel, you excuse the, uh, the piece of paper, you throw it in the bin. So when you are doing it like that, you are getting rid of this emotion, all this stress. You are, because you can't bottle it. You see, our body is like a gas. I know what you are doing because you can easily explode because the, the stuff is too much. You cannot take it again. So you need to continually come to Facebook to express yourself, to get it out of your system. But the easiest way to get it out of your system, the way that nobody will know, people will not mock you, people will not laugh you with your problem, is to take a piece of paper, take a pen, and write it down. This is what this was the same advice I give to Geno Saige when when he lose the wife. This is what I do, and this is what is recommended by people like T.D. Jakes. Write your feelings on a sheet of paper. Just continuously writing it, writing it. Before you know, you get these feelings out of your system. But 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 the truth of the matter is, I have to be honest with you. Okay, it's it, it just the life we live now. Though that that woman may have scammed you, that woman may have scammed you. It may be that you are not the father of those children. I'm just telling you now. That is the society we live today, and that is the fact. 
you may not be the father of those children. That woman may have scammed you. I told you my own personal story. I was very lucky because it happened at a very early age of my life. But now you are a bit advanced, but you can still manage it. Okay? So another thing we want to talk about here, which is like the part two of this video, is, uh, let me see. You need a new God. Okay, my brother, you need a new God. Because the God you are serving has failed you. You know, some people were asking you, you said you are a native daughter. Why didn't you charm the wife? Nobody can dare sleep with a native daughter wife. You said, eh, eh, I don't want to charm her because she's not beautiful enough. Others are others. You are not talking to small children. Okay, your gods have failed you. Your gods have failed you. So I'm here to advise you, native daughter, change your God. Change your God. Let me show you. These are my God. You know? So, these are my God. Books. These are my God. You understand? You have to change your God. All those, uh, bangiri, 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 oh, look like that. Nothing did there. They are just iron and dirty. You understand? The elites, the elite in America, the elite in Nigeria, the elite in Netherlands when they stay, they read books, books, books. Everybody read books. The successful people read books. Okay, this is the new God. This is the 21st century God. You, you, you know, people don't go to go to church. How can you be saying you want to be like Oyibo? As they build bridge, they build airplane, they build everything. You want to be like them, but you don't want to read books. Okay, the problem with the black man is that they see reading book as a taboo. But you cannot be successful if you don't read books. You cannot be successful. It's like saying, I want to have a baby. I want to have a baby. You cannot have a baby without you don't you don't pregnant a woman. It's impossible. You cannot be successful without reading books. Okay, let me quote Dr. Boyce Watkins on what we call self-education. These books are called self-help books. Self-help books. These are the new gods. Okay, you need to change your god. Or go born now. My mother did it. My mother packed all her juju. When my mother, uh, my juju fed my mom, he packed all the juju. She burned all the juju. So that's what you, you will do. Your juju have fed you. Pagoro, pagoro. I know you, because you, you make money from it. You, you, you convince a lot of people that it's working because that's how you make your money. But you will keep dis deceiving yourself. You will keep deceiving the, those people. And your life will continue being miserable because you don't want to seek authentic God. This is authentic God. This is this is the new God. Let me quote Dr. Boyce Walking so that you understand what I'm talking about here. So let's listen to what uh, Dr. Boyce Walking said about reading. Let me just read it. He said, "I study." Uh, sorry, that's not the quote. Let me just quote. He said, "By by educating yourself, listen to this. By educating yourself." You are expanding your consciousness. By educating yourself, you are expand, expanding your consciousness. Because when a person is conscious of all the possibilities, when a person is conscious of all the possibilities, they are usually going to have an easier time solving problems. When a person is conscious of all the possibilities, you know, when you read this book, it gives you different, different solutions on how to handle matter, marital matter, business matter, attitude matter. So that's what uh, this quote is saying. He said, when a person is conscious of all possibility, they are usually going to have an easier time solving problem. Because they are going to be able to optimize, optimize at a higher level. Go, go and look at the word. Go to your Google and check the meaning of optimize. Optimize means uh, working efficiently, working effectively. So by having all this knowledge in you, you know, I, I, had to, I had to get finance, okay? Because you read a lot, you know how to get finance, you know how to approach the bank, I, I had to get business, customer service, you know it. I, I, I had to do things because everything, most book, everything are stored in here. So once you have this knowledge already, you can be able to manage your life. All this problem, I look, all this problem, I'm not saying what happened to good luck cannot happen to me. A woman cannot scam me. But it's going to be difficult because of, I've gained so much knowledge. Okay, it's because of what happened to me that forced me to start reading book. What they call self education, self help. Like like I, I was trying to quote here. See, usually they say I I, I study what rich folks do. 
because I want to be rich. Okay, I study people like Tony Elumelu. Tony Elumelu reads a lot. Okay, I study uh, now. Now we are in our book class. We are doing a uh, um, Wala uh, Wale Tinubu. We are uh, we are studying Wale Tinubu. So because I want to be rich, I study the moons. Okay, because rich people, there's no there's no secret about rich people. Their richness, you can see it. One of their richness, uh, one. One of the ways they make money is diversification. They have different different businesses. That's one. I'm telling you now. You can start your own. You can have different sources of income. My point is, you study rich people because you want to be rich. In Africa, we say the white people are like God. Okay? Yeah, see, quote, if you want to be like the white or Igbo, you study what they do. The successful one reads self-help books. The successful one reads self-help books. The, them Elon Musk. Even this guy that created TikTok. Go and read his quote when he was selling TikTok. He said he will spend... I'm quoting him now. This is a direct quote from him. He said he's going to spend the rest of his life daydreaming and reading. Daydreaming and reading. What is he reading? Because the new God of today... You don't see Oyibo rushing to church every Sunday. The new God of today... I'm not saying Christianity is not good. Quran is not good. They are all still books anyway. But the, source, the Oyibo people have moved away from church, they have moved to what they call self-help book. There's no successful Igbo man that don't read. That's why they will say, this one, that's why I always come up with quotes, because I'm always quoting them. No successful Igbo man in, in any industry, whether it's in real estate, whether it's in stock market, uh, the, the Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett read eight hours a day. People like uh, Barack Obama, Barack Obama read 30 minutes a day. Okay? I don't, there's no way there's no way the black man is going to start building bridges and be successful by doing poco 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 like what Obo is doing. Okay, Obo just accepted that your gods have failed you. And what you are going to do for the moment, either you go to church or you become a Christian, but all those juju, all those juju, both the one you have in Holland there and the one you have in Nigeria, pack them and burn it. I know you are going to lose, lose customers, you are going to lose money. Embrace this. This is the new God. This is the new God. Like, like what uh, Dr. Boyce working said, it optimizes. Go to Google and uh, check the meaning of optimize. It makes your mind to work efficiently and effectively. It's not that your intuition, okay, uh, in belief, we call it uh, a yoma. A yoma is guiding you. All of us have it. It's not that they are not effective enough, but by educating them the more, by storing more knowledge there, it makes you to come up with. Someone can call me now. I have this problem. No, nah, no. Nah, I don't give one solution. People are even in Ireland here. Yeah, they are friends I don't we have not seen for five, ten years. Immediately they will call me, Victor. I have this legal problem. Can you help? Victor, I have this issue. I will still give them advice. People that know me as a wisdom man. Why? Because I read. Okay, this is the new God. Change. I'm talking to all the black men, all the black men around the world, both in Nigeria. This is, they call them self-help book. So if you can read that right, you can read it. You don't have to go to school. You can buy this anywhere. I usually buy my books at Ikeja there, under Bridge Ikeja. I have a librarian that supply me all my books. Okay? So that is it, folks. Although I wish, I hope I've helped you today. So like I said, my name is Victor Vince. My name is Victor Vince. I'm a life coach, a business coach, and a financial literacy teacher. And I'm also... A leadership teacher, what they call executive life coach. You see, this is from Dr. Miles Marum, the spirit of leadership. Okay, people, the top leadership teacher in the world, Dr. Miles Marum, one to three, Dr. Miles Marum, uh, John Maxwell. These are top leadership teacher. Once you have John, John Maxwell, you have uh, John Maxwell, and you have Dr. Miles Marum. I mean, for me, these are the top best leadership teacher in the world, John Maxwell and Dr. Miles Marum. So, if you want to be a leader, if you want to be successful in your business or anything, go and buy self-help books. That is it, folks. And do have a productive day.